take it all in. I'll, I'll give you a minute. Okay, you ready? Look, I know, I know sometimes looking at the world's most woke, empty house, billionaire, extremely successful, best ever on YouTube, very handsome with a great bod, number one Amazon seller of Mamba Meat, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And I want you to get past that point because I know the second thing you're gonna ask me because this is what everybody asks me. My word, Alex, you're so handsome, you're so smart, you're so focused, and you've made billions selling black Mamba Meat online. What on earth are you putting in your body to do this? And so in this video, I'm gonna be answering this question. It's, it's a very simple question. I eat once a week, just one time per week. And the secret to my diet is what I like to call black mamba coffee. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get six sticks of butter. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. And for all the people that get angry by those intros, I love you too, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's get into it, guys. I wanna talk about in this video about what I eat and what I put in my body to maintain focus. And this video is going to make so many people upset. It's gonna be so counterintuitive to what's being said on YouTube. And frankly, the only reason I'm making this video is because this needs to be said because it messed me up for almost a decade. Because almost everything out there in terms of diet and what you put in your body and biohacking, it's so stupid. And if it's not stupid, it's not good to participate in most of the time because of the negative effects it will cause on you. And like always, this is gonna take me about five minutes to explain, but I don't see how you can be successful or achieve anything in life if you don't feel good, you don't feel focused, and you don't have energy. I don't see how you can get it done. I couldn't get anything done. And without this, I've struggled in the past to get a lot done, and once I figured this out, I've started getting a whole lot done. It's mind-blowing. And so if you don't have five minutes, this is going to cost you five years in the long run. So let's start. My diet's insanely simple. I'll get into it at the end of this video and it's, it's not going to be shocking. It's not some insanely deep secret. In fact, it is third grade level simple. It's the exact thing that your mother and father told you to eat as a kid. And what I would rather do is tell you what not to do because what not to do is what messed me up for so many years, not knowing what not to do. So when it comes to diets and diet advice, particularly on YouTube, everything has to be special. Everybody has to be doing some special diet. They have to be doing some special uh, forms of body training. There's, there's no base level. There's no just basic tier one, what will get you pretty good results 80% of the way their diet. Everybody's focusing on the extremes always. And this also comes into biohacking. People are putting so many things in their body, so many supplements, trying to hack so much, and this is wrong in my opinion. Not wrong in the grand scheme of things if you're trying to improve your overall focus, but I personally believe you can get 90% there with basic stuff. And I believe that you're going to get farther away from 90% adding in stuff and doing extreme stuff and trying to do biohacking. Now, let me explain it this way. It's like you have the ability to get to 90% functionality. And if you get the right combination of biohacking, the right combination of diet, everything all figured out, you can get up to that 100%. But on the way to that 100%, you're going to go down 50, 60% because of all the trial and error and all the testing and all the variables that are being thrown at you. And when you combo the fact that most people who are preaching diets, most people who are preaching biohacking are trying to sell you something, <sighs> you're usually more so going to get worse results when trying to get gains than if you just got to the base level and accepted simplicity and focused on the simple things that give you a good 90% baseline. You must also factor in that human beings were not designed to exist with biohacking and uh, all the advanced crazy things that people talk about online. Now, of course, we can debate, oh, they're meant to eat this type of food or a high-fat diet or this, that, that's all great, but that also depends a lot on where um, your genetics originate from. I'm using big words now. Origination of your genetic genome code. That's, it depends on your isolation of your genetic geography, okay? So you need to figure that out, but more so there's usually a good baseline diet and everybody can work with. And when I look at all this biohacking and all the things that are being introduced and all the supplements and all the food diets, <laughs> food diets, you have to understand that in the past, I don't know, 50, 60 years, this is an exact stat, we've added four years of life to a person who's past the age of 60. So really nothing that humans have done medically or nutritional, nutritionally has, has really put a dent in how long we live and how well we function. 
Four years. Okay, that, that's that's not bad, but that's that's not nearly what people lead you to believe with all their biohacking. And most biohacking and these diets and all these things that people are preaching, these are not tested over a hundred year period. These aren't tested across a lifespan of somebody. And in order for you to really tell the cause and effect of something, you have to test it for a long, long, long time. For example, when smoking first came out, there's going to be people to debate this and there's so much smoking to this, smoking to that, but people thought it was overall pretty healthy. In fact, it was being preached as a health thing when it was first released. And this might be because doctors uh, we're being paid off to say these things, but they definitely didn't think it was unhealthy as it was. And I'm not saying that biohacking and all these diets that people talk about, I'm not saying that it's unhealthy. I'm saying that the effect it has on us isn't determined in any way, shape, or form. It just isn't. And when you look at most scientific studies and you look at how scientific communities operate, most of the time they're vastly run on bias. A lot of scientific studies, actually a large percentage of them, are cherry-picked. The stats are used to reflect what people want them to reflect. This is super common, and if you look at how studies actually get put together, it's almost like politics. People that have good ideas or present a really good idea will be borderline thrown out of their communities for putting forward ideas that conflict with the standard groupthink of the community. If you look at a lot of findings in science, usually when they were found, they've been found three or four times before, but they've been covered up. And so the point I'm trying to make right here is that people are very, very, very bad at predicting what's going to have a good effect on us and what's going to have a bad effect on us over time. And the odds are the more variables you add into your life, the more negative effects you're going to have, the more weird, non-predictable effects you're going to have on your body. That's the odds. So you can't really listen to people and you can't really listen to these variables. And so what I did for the longest time with my diets and supplements is of course I've seen some benefits from some of these things. In fact, I used to have a biohacking company and you can see some benefits. And I used to be really into this. I have a hyperbaric chamber in my apartment for crying out loud. I've optimized the EMFs coming out of my walls. I've optimized my diet in the special, I've done it all, I've done it all. And the thing that got me jaded from all this is because I, I got so deep into it that I actually started really reverse engineering and saying, hey, what's the chance that all this is BS? And I have noticed over the past few years I've tried every single diet as well. I've tried keto. I've actually been mostly keto and I felt like garbage the entire time. And I was like healthy keto, completely clean organic diet, as top tier clean as you can get with it. I've tried the all meat diet. I've tried going vegan. I've tried all these things. I've tried everything except just a baseline, normal, basic as hell diet. All the fads, I've done it. And what I've noticed The past few months, after I've taken up my extremely woke, minimalistic lifestyle, I say that, I say it sarcastically, but what I've been doing the past few months of my life, if you watch it, I've just been removing everything in my life, all the excessive material objects. And with that also really focusing on what are the simplest things I can do that will yield the best results and give me a stable level of performance. You see, when it comes to diet in particular, this is going to affect your performance more than anything else out there. You have to understand that having a consistently high stable performance beats having a all over the place performance that has a chance of getting the 95, 100%. And this is so obvious, but so hard to discover for one reason. Here's the reason. Look at the comments section right now. Go look at it. Look at all the people screaming and saying I'm wrong, throwing a tantrum and basically trying to push their diet and their beliefs about diet like it's some sort of religion. People are fanatics about this stuff. There's three or four things in life people are fanatical about. It's their diet and belief in the diet that they're doing, cryptocurrency, politics, and religion. It's absolutely nuts. And when people are pushing stuff and saying, this changed my life forever, you're wrong. No, this is diet doesn't work at all. It's going to kill you. People do not have any form of balance and opinions with diets. If you go online, there's everybody's telling you to do this thing or this thing, and then everything else is absolutely wrong and their way is absolutely right. How are you supposed to even see that, hey, maybe the answer is just kind of like right in the middle when everybody is preaching such extremes? That's why this is so hard to discover. This is why it was so hard for me to just be like, oh wait, maybe I'll just like keep things simple right here. People have such confidence and such ease of giving such strong opinions on things they don't really understand. You could be a keto expert, I don't care. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying, oh, don't listen to this. This is completely unreasonable. It will never work. There's so much proof it doesn't work. What I'm saying is that if you look at the track record of humans advice on health and diet, Odds are you're wrong.
Odds are you're very wrong. And when you combo the fact that many diets are pushed and uh, subtly nudged by science and by marketers to sell something, well, you know, it, it really, you might be right. You, there's, there's a chance you might be right. But based on the track record of humans' ability to predict what's good for us and based on our behavior to push things in order to sell things and push certain things uh, for our own benefit and for our own confirmation bias, probably not. You, you probably not, or at very least, you don't know you're right. You just think you're right. You don't thoroughly understand exactly what's going to happen to someone's body that you're giving advice to and yelling and screaming that this works and this doesn't work without hundreds of years of research, without going and identifying that, hey, most of the scientific studies I'm basing this off on are biased, without even understanding the person you're yelling and screaming at. It is absurd. It's absurd. And this is the default online. This isn't the, the, the rare occurrence. This is the default. And this isn't a slam on keto. It's a slam on the reckless abandonment that has come with diet advice online. That's what I've realized. And by partaking in all these things that people are saying, all these diets, all this biohacking, all the supplements, what really happens is I never really achieve a baseline. My results are all over the place. And maybe I have some, some days of super focus, but overall, it's just a complete mess. And so what I've noticed is what, what can I do with my diet that is just basic and accepted and works? And so what I've done with my diet overall is I eat just very few limited amount of objects. And here's what I suggest you do with your diet. This has helped me a lot. Now, I'm no diet coach. I'm no diet expert. And there are so many exceptions to this rule. And I think people's diets are very specific to them. But before you try to find that masterful specific diet, you need to go and set to a baseline and slowly work things in. This is something I never did. And entrepreneurs and ambitious people, probably you if you watch this channel, we have this habit of we can't stop screwing with things. We can't stop messing with the pipes of our bodies. As soon as we get to one point, we're, we're already messing with it again. And this is great when done in isolation. When you're trying to build a business, when you're trying to move forward in life, when you're trying to achieve a lot of growth, you don't want to be messing with all the other pipes in your life. You want to be messing with one area of your life at a time. You don't want to be trying to do it all at once. And so that's what I would be trying to do. And so I go through these phases where I'm super tired, or I'm feeling sick, or I'm getting really puffy in my face because I'm changing my diet all over the place. And so what I've got back to and what this really helped me is getting back to just a baseline foundational diet. Perfect amount of calories, perfect amount of macros, and all the things I nutritionally need. So what I eat every single day, and what I really focus on is saying, instead of making my diet genetically perfect and all this non-proven stuff that people talk about, how can I make it extremely simple and efficient? And so what I did is I reduced my diet completely down to oatmeal, olive oil, spinach, green juice, and lean chicken. This gives me the perfect levels, the perfect macros, the right amount of fat, the right amount of carbs, the right amount of protein, and it allows me to put on muscle, it allows me to stay focused, and it allows my diet to be easily digestible. The stuff just goes straight through my body. Now, if you want to be even healthier, I would maybe throw in like some fish oil or something like that. And is this the peak, pinnacle, healthiest diet of all time? Actually, it's much healthier than what most people eat. But no, it's not going to be the peak biohacking optimized diet. It's super boring. It's super efficient. And you've been aware of a diet like this since you were probably 10 years old. And because of that, this can't be the right answer. It's this, this simple diet can't be the right answer, but it is. I used to have problems with my weight going all over the place. I used to have problems with hunger. I used to have problems with being confused. Am I putting the right thing in my body? Am I not? And, but by focusing on this baseline, I eat the same amount of packets of oatmeal every single day. I eat the same amount of LBs of chicken every single day, same measurements of olive oil, and it takes me seconds to manage all of this. I can whip it all out, put it together, and I can have the meals and everything done or pre-make them way ahead of time. And so my diet takes me virtually no focus. I get the perfect amount of calories and the perfect amount of everything. And what does this allow me to do? It allows me to focus on work. I never have brain fog. I get great sleep. And my body is a nice level 90% of stable. And so when I said in the subject of this video, this increased my IQ, it did. Because I don't wake up feeling like crap anymore. I don't, I don't ever get tons of brain fog due to experimenting with my diet. I'm not all over the place. I'm not ups and downs. I'm just a nice level of stable. And since I've picked up this diet, I've gotten more work done than ever before because I'm just clean and focused. And what I suggest you do is you find a way to reduce to a baseline diet of your own. You could even try my diet, but I'm not going out on a limb like every other diet person on YouTube and saying, this is what you should do. I don't care what you do. I don't give a shit. I don't, 
I, I truly don't care. I don't need you to take up my diet to reinforce that my diet works for me. I don't need you to say this diet works or doesn't work. What I'm suggesting you do is you find some way to reduce your diet down to a baseline. And I think mine is a pretty good example of just a basic as heck diet. And then what you want to do is you want to remove or add things one at a time so you can actually see how something's affecting you. What I would do in the past is I switched one diet and another and another and it's just whatever. So if you're at this baseline diet and you want to go and try a keto diet, subtract the oatmeal and add in something that's ketogenic in there. If you wanna go to the carnivore diet, subtract the oatmeal, maybe add in a steak or something right there, and then see how you feel. And this allows you to go and say, this is my baseline. Get to a point in your diet where you have a good 90% baseline that you can work with, and then add and remove from there. And the other thing I wanna add is if you get to a good baseline, you get a nice baseline diet that gets you 90% there, you're clear, you're good, you're good, and you're trying to do big things in your life right now, leave it alone. You can go and do this when you have two months off. You can go and do this when you're on a vacation. You can go and experiment with all these things when you have time to be turbulent and all over the place. If you're trying to build a business or doing something really hard in your life right now, that's enough. That's enough. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. This is good enough. You don't have to get to 100% when most people are operating at 50%. Just get to 90%. It's good. Okay, you're not going to be 100% in all areas of your life, especially when you're trying to be 100% in something else that's super tough to do. Consistently for weeks and months to move forward at a steady pace is going to outweigh you going like this and then three months later finally hitting that good pace where you're at 100%. That 10% gain is not worth the constant chaos in your body and you're just going to see way better results overall over time by consistently being able to show up. Don't be trying to add or remove, like a lot of people go from eating candy bars and a bad diet straight into keto, a ketogenic diet. And then they go from a ketogenic diet straight into a vegan diet. And then they do this and they're taking all these supplements. There's never a good baseline. And then start adding in supplements. Then start adding in nutritional things in there and see how it affects you over time. You should really only be adding or changing one or two things over a two to three week period. And you slowly get to that, that level. But what I do in every aspect of my life, instead of doing all the biohacking, instead of doing all the supplements and all the stuff I used to do, I simply just focus on simplicity. That's gonna get you to the point where you can do massive amounts of work, especially if you're combining all the dopamine detoxes and self-discipline that I've talked about on the channel. And if you have a good baseline diet that keeps all the nasty stuff out of it, your cravings for all sorts of junk is gonna go away overall. And there's other ways you can achieve this in other diets, but the most important thing is you get a nice baseline diet that allows you to achieve those lines by default and then you can move from there. I was never able to really get my calories under control. I was never able to get my brain completely under control, my cravings under control until I did this. Also a fun tidbit, I usually do about a 20 hour fast every single day. Not every day, because again, it's so easy for me to maintain my calories because I have everything measured out uh, in the boxes. It literally comes in before I eat it. So this is just what I wanted to share with you guys. This has been so helpful for me and I've been misled and driven all over the place and just just not getting the results I want from my diet for the longest time. And I always thought thinking, well, I'm missing some secret. I'm missing some biohacking thing. I'm missing the optimized perfect thing and, and all this junk. The secret is I was just doing too much. Do less, do less. Your diet doesn't have to be complicated to get results. That's the point of this video. If you like videos like this, guys, be sure to like, hit the notification bell and subscribe because I run ads specifically to people in that demographic. I can target that in Google ads, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I give away tons of free courses that show how I built businesses in the past. It's thousands of dollars worth of courses. I don't sell these anymore. I don't sell beginners courses, but I do have them laying around and I'll deliver them to you for free if you see these ads, which you can get to by subscribing, hitting the notification bell and liking this video. That's it. This has been me and I'll see you next time. I, I have 20 minutes to rant about something. Take it easy.